Hey guys, it's Doomsday Killers here slash camera nine oh two six and today guys I'm a bit ill today obviously you can tell that I'm in my uh obviously I'm in my um what's it called it I don't even actually my whatever. Um so today we're gonna look at starter Pokemon and we're gonna start Obviously, I'm going to flick through, like, how, obviously, how both Sword Charmander and Squirtle are good, obviously, in battles, and some, like, obviously, some, like, other starters, like, uh, Chikorita, um, and other Pokemon like that. So, Bulbasaur. He's first, uh, no, right, obviously he's a grass poison, right? He's good to have, like, attacks, like, Razor Leaf, uh, to attack, like, Exorb, Mega Drain, and moves like that. It's good to fight off water types, but if Bulbasaur has a poison type attack, it can defeat... Bulbasaur. No, not Bulbasaur, but Blastoise. Right. Um, when he evolves, obviously because of poison type, and then obviously as he goes to a Venusaur, he obviously gets more stronger. Uh, he can have like the healing moves, like let's say like he can have the objects like like scraps, like obviously what heals him. He can have, um, he has, like, one of these hidden abilities where if you hit him, you get poisoned. And stuff like that. Um, Squirtle, he can have the ability where if you hit him with a water-type attack, he heals. Um, he has, like, the abilities where if you hit him, it can do you like you like more damage he can have another hidden ability what's called splash what is an ability what boosts his um attack and defense so obviously he goes to a war turtle and he goes to a blastoise blastoise he can learn hydro pump uh sly um he can use bubble beam he can use like hydro pump no not hydro pump i meant um uh, water pot. No, I, I don't know a lot of Blastoise's moves. And obviously, the people's favorite and a favorite I like to choose on battles mostly is Charmander because he goes into a Charmedian and he goes into a Charizard. So, he obviously he has the same abilities. He has Flame, what is like he, he gets healed from different attacks. He has a fly, obviously he can use flying moves, he can use dragon moves when he's mega evolved, and other things like that. So guys, I will be going through these three, what they can do, and what their stats are. So, obviously you have the different starters, like, like these ones, you have this one, then you have this one, then you have this one. Yeah, this one. And then now we have the stats. So, we'll talk about Pikachu as well. So, Blastoise is not very high in HP, but he's very high in attack. He's good in defense, but he's good in speed and, and special attack and special defense. His speed is not very high. But his total is pretty high in itself. Um, obviously, because he's a poison type, he can get himself like he goes second, but then he goes faster. Uh, Blastoise looks like he has high attack. Uh, no, he has high health. He has eighty three attack. Was pretty fast. Uh, he's 100 defense, what's good, because then obviously he's a turtle. Um, special attack, 
Our special defense looks averagely okay. And his speed is not that good at all. Um, when Venusaur is mega evolved, I think he his defense, his attack, and his health goes up. When Blastoise is evolved, sorry, uh, mega evolved, his health, defense, and speed goes up. And then when you have like a mega a mega Charizard, there's two ways of mega Charizard. There's mega Charizard where he becomes a dragon type and he becomes a badass. And you have like the other side where he becomes a dragon type but he becomes like more defense. He gets more defense and more attack. Obviously we know about Charizard, he's the fastest in all of them. So we're going to talk about Pikachu. Pikachu doesn't have a mega evolution, but he can. If we're thinking about Ash, Ash, I meant sorry, Ash's Pikachu, his stats would be more bigger than that. Like, like he'll be like on ninety five something, right? Ash's Pikachu is probably more faster, more got more special attack, more defense, more attack and health. But a normal Pikachu would have those stats, and obviously things like that. Yeah, would like affect them. So let's have a look at more. So obviously you have the other stats. Obviously, if you guys want to have a look at them, I'm just gonna hold it there just for a few minutes. If you guys want to have a look at the stats, if you want to have a look at that stats, I'm just gonna hold it there a minute. Okay, I'm gonna hold it there for a minute. Yep, yep. So Servine, Embor. Guys, I choose Embor. I'm sorry. I uh, choose Volpix. Sorry, I, I actually done the fire type. But for this one, I chose this one. Definitely. Because I need to. Right, guys, we're going on Mega Evolutions. So, yeah, I told you guys that, honestly, Venusaur's attack and defense would have rised. His attack doesn't go. His special attack is okay. And it goes all right. Yeah. It, it it looks okay. Um, Charizard, um, X, uh, normally becomes a dragon type. He gets the ability of Sharp Claws. What attack? His attack goes up, and obviously his attack is bigger than any one of them. Like obviously the defense in that is there. But Charizard can't really beat Blastoise, but unless he has a really strong uh, flying type attack. And if you get Eevee trained, he's obviously really OP and strong. So obviously these two are OP. And Blastoise, his attack goes up. Special attack goes up. His defense goes up. And his attack goes up. So out of all of them, Charizard is the best out of all of them. So I'm going to go through some of the others. Um, if you guys obviously want these three as well. Um, so obviously Blaziken and Swampert. Obviously the def the attack and special attack and defense goes up the attack special defense uh goes up on the other one and then servile would be attack uh special attack and speed so let's have a look guys so we have the evolution so this is the only stone the only stone one you actually have to do so at morning, like let's say you evolve with a moonstone in the morning, um, you will have a a Sylveon. No, not a Sylveon, sorry, an Espeon. If you're at night and you evolve um Eevee, you'll get a Umbreon. Because obviously a moonstone could go morning and night. So obviously 
it could go both ways. So guys, out of all of these, uh, personally, the fastest out of all of them is Sparks, what is Jolteon. Um, um, let's say Flareon is like a tanky Pokemon, so, so if you want a tanky Pokemon, so Flareon and Umbreon are the tanky, and they can confuse and do a lot of damage. Umbreon, Umbreon, um, um, uh, and that one, I can't even freaking say it, sorry. Uh, es Espeon, yeah, they both obviously evolve into, obviously they both are the, the fastest. They're not the fastest, no, sorry. Um, like, the most tactical ones to, like, do, like, they're the ones who do strength. And like, like, they do a lot of damage to like loads of the Pokemon. So if you guys, and they have Espeon, what is a, I would say a fairy type, and that is on power with the Espeon because obviously they're both, they're technically both the same type. But if you guys want to look at that, you can have a look. Obviously. I got it up for you if you want to. So let's have a look, guys. So these are the teams that uh, male players start out with the following Pokemon. Well, and female players start out with the following Pokemon. Well, guys. Well, that's not really accurate because I actually do start off with a, a Pidgeotto because Pidgeotto is actually OP with the flying. Um, I say Rhydon is like with defense and not really good to, fly, to water types. Uh, Dragonair is a a dragon water type. War Turtle is a water type, fire type, and obviously a grass poison type. I don't know if Grottle is actually just a, I think it's a poison type as well. Uh, so, Man, um, obviously Mankey is a fire fighting. Um, so, what, um, I can't even say that one. Obviously, what's my cursor's on is a water type. So, that's electric normal. I think he's half normal as well. If you guys disagree with me, um, if Luxray, uh, Luxio is a half normal type, I don't know if it is, because I think it's electric normal. Okay, uh, Garchomp is a ground rock type, if I'm right. And Bravery is a flying, I can't think it's a flying fire type, because obviously it has Break Bird, but it doesn't do fire type attack. So it's technically just flying. All right, let's have a look. So in Pokemon Go, obviously you have those as well. So you have the Evolutions. So, guys, if you want to have a look at these Pokemon here, so Snivy, uh, obviously Pokemon was pretty good to be used in um, battle. Uh, Samurott is a good Pokemon to use. He has normal type moves, he has uh, water type moves, and he has fighting type moves. Uh, Scraggy is alright. You could use him, he's alright, but... He can be pretty weak to fire and water type attacks. Uh, Amoga is an electric type. You could use him. He's alright. Axew goes into a drag. I can't even say the name of the actual evolve of him. But it, it's alright. Uh, so guys, if you want to watch the anime, obviously the there's some some anime cards there. I'll put a link to them all if you guys want to watch it. Let's have a look at more. 
So guys, if you want to read some of this, you can if you want. Like, there's some evolution starters if you want to have a look. So guys, they have a book for it. Like, you can try and order the book. Um, like they have, I hope they put another evolution line up. Because the evolution line would be pretty lovely right now. Obviously, they have more. Uh, so, yeah, different countries say different things. So, guys, here's your, uh, here's normally your pick. But, obviously, if, it's in, if you're in a different language, you can go and have a look at it. Because, obviously, you guys are obviously not my language. And you guys can go and have a look. So, okay guys, let's, uh, let's have a look at, um, so let's see how many Pokemon are in the Pokedex right now. I think it's a hundred, okay, let's have a look. Uh, let's, let's go to, uh, oops, sorry guys, I'm just taking that down because I keep on putting that up. Uh, Pokemon. On in the Pokedex. There, guys. Hold up. Right, here we go. Here, guys. One minute, guys. I'm just going to quickly shut that down again. Sorry, because it just keeps on coming up. So, let's have a look, guys. So what do we want to look at? There we go. So we have obviously the Bulbasaur line. We have the Cappy line. Uh, look at more. Obviously we want to look at all of them. Obviously that's all right. Beatrice okay, but he's he's got the speed, but he's very weak to fire type attacks. Obviously Pidgeotto, he's okay. Um, Fero is okay. Uh, Pikachu, Raichu is alright. Sandro, uh, let's have a look. Let's look at some of the good ones that you could use in a Pokemon battle. Psyduck is not that bad. You can use him. He's okay. You can use him because he comes to Psychic Water, but I think they've changed it now to Water. Yeah, just Water. He's a fighting type. Guys, if you want to have a look at my video and obviously look at the typings of this, that's why I'm looking through them. Alright, guys. One minute. One minute, guys. Huh? Mom, I'm in the middle of the video. Yep. Right. Sorry guys, I, I had a little bit of a phone call. So, uh, guys, you can look at some of these. Uh, obviously, you have Machoke, Machamp. You have, like, a Weebill. You have... Like, guys, I'm just going through here, because then, obviously, if you guys want to check the typings, if you're playing a game. So, obviously, they become a ground type. Rapidash is a Pokemon I would recommend to take into a battle. Because it's strong, and if you EV train it, it does a lot of damage. What's okay? Uh, where's the where's the evolve of that? Okay, cool. Um, so Shelter, right, guys? We all know you yeah, that Shelter is an awesome Pokemon. You guys got you Shelter. He's a good Pokemon. He's all right. And I think you guys would enjoy Shelter. Muck, eh? Still an alright Pokemon. Um, so let's say uh, Gengar. Eh, it's alright. You guys can uh, use Gengar. He's a ghost poison, but he's he's alright. He's a Pokemon that could probably do a lot of damage and obviously a lot of. Uh, I guess if you click on them, yeah, you can obviously see their stats. 
But guys, I'll put the link in the description for this if you guys want to obviously look at it or you just want to look through my video to see if it's there. Weezing, yeah. All right, Candace Gone's okay. Uh, if guys, if you want speed, uh, Kidra is all right with speed. If you guys want speed over over your friends or something, it's a good speedy Pokemon. Uh, Starby is a tanky Pokemon if you want him. Scissor is like a fast Pokemon. Fire Meg Magmortar is an all right big Pokemon. Lapras, okay. Le use Lapras, yeah, if you want a tanky, really tanky Pokemon. Cause it's, it's really good in the starter uh, series. Because uh, it does a lot of damage. If you guys want to beat someone with a Pokemon, Lapras or... Or... Uh, what's the name? For being... Uh, let's see. Gyarados is good. For those two reasons, if you guys are fighting fire types, let's have a look. Oh, yeah, it's half flying. I don't know why it's half flying. So, if we have the Eevee line here, obviously, you know the types between these. Um, we have obviously this line Porygon, eh, it's all right. Snorlax, everybody knows that's OP. So if you guys want to obviously see that, Moltres is a flying type, electric, that's a good Pokemon to go for. Uh, guys, I'm just going through this just so if you guys want to look through, you can have a look. So obviously we have the next line of Pokemon. So obviously guys, I was just going to show the Pokemon from the first generation. So obviously guys, all of these are the first generation Pokemon. So obviously, if you guys want me to do another video on this, just showing you the actual stuff like this, like obviously it'd be okay. Um, I would have to snip bits. I would have to, if you guys want me to, yeah, I'll watch this. I'll watch like one series of this. If you guys want to have a look. So obviously, guys and girls, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will talk to you guys later